Hello, you're watching Armando Hasurungan Biology and Medicine videos. Please make sure to subscribe, join the forum and group for the latest videos, visit Facebook Armando Hasurungan, like, ask questions, answer questions, and please post some of your artworks if you have any. So as we've discussed previously, we discussed that fatty acids are synthesized in the cytosol. Now, however, interestingly enough, fatty acid breakdown or degradation occurs inside the mitochondria. So, here's the mitochondria. Um, zoom into this section here, the membrane. And the mitochondria is made, out of two, made up of two membranes. This is the outer membrane here, and then this is the inner membrane. So, fatty acids are synthesized in the cytosol and have to move inside the mitochondria into the matrix um, because fatty acid degradation, if we need to uh, break down fatty acid, it occurs inside the matrix. Now, fatty acid synthesis can produce short fatty acids or long fatty acids, or it can produce both, anything. Now, short fatty acids can pass through the two mitochondrial membranes easily. It can pass through the outer membrane and the inner membrane, and so it's quite simple. However, the long fatty acids can only pass through the outer membrane, not the inner. So, it doesn't pass through the inner membrane. So, how does it pass through the inner membrane then? What kind of mechanism allows it to go inside the mitochondria? Our palmitate, or as I'd like to call it, palmitide, is a 16 carbon chain fatty acid. And it's a long fatty acid. Now, if we add a CoA to it, it, is, it becomes palmitoyl CoA, a long fatty acyl CoA. Now, it moves towards the mitochondria, and as it moves towards the mitochondria, it releases its CoA group and binds to the hydroxyl portion of a small molecule called carnitine. Now, carnitine carries fatty acyls, the fatty acid group, across the outer and through the inner membrane through a carnitine transporter. So the palmitate carnitine molecule is in the mitochondrial matrix now. And the palmitate carnitine then releases the carnitine and a CoA group is added in forming palmitol CoA again. And this palmitol CoA then continues on to fatty acid degradation, um, making acetyl CoA and making the fatty acid chain shorter. So, so fatty acids move to the mitochondria through this carnitine transporter. So going back to the map, for a fatty acid to be converted to fatty acyl uh, CoA, it first must convert to fatty acyl adenylate by the enzyme fatty acyl CoA synthetase. And what happens here is that uh, adenosine monophosphate group from ATP binds with the fatty acid, releasing the two inorganic phosphates. Then fatty acyl adenylate can then remove the adenosine monophosphate and add a CoA uh, group to it to form fatty acyl CoA. So it removes the adenosine monophosphate and adds the CoA group. And this is done by the same enzyme, fatty acyl CoA synthetase. The fatty acyl CoA can be any number of hydrocarbons, but typically for fatty acid breakdown, we would want to degrade the big ones, such as palmitol CoA, which is a 16 carbon fatty acid chain. So let's stop there and move into the matrix of the mitochondria. Now, there is a molecule there called carnitin, which serves as a carrier for fatty acids across the mitochondrial membrane, inner mitochondrial membrane. Carnitin can move through the inner membrane through a transporter. So, going back to the fatty acyl adenylate, going back to the fatty acyl adenylate, um, adenosine monophosphate was removed from fatty acyl adenylate, um, just to revise, and the CoA, coenzyme A group, was added by the fatty acyl CoA synthetase. Now, okay, going, okay. Now, carnitin acyl transferase 1, which is located on the outer membrane, transfers the fatty acyl group, the palmitate in this case, from palmitol CoA to the hydroxyl group of carnitin. The acyl carnitin then moves through the intermembrane space and passes through the carnitin transporter. Now, acyl carnitin is then in the mitochondrial matrix now. Another enzyme, acyl transferase 2, then exchanges the carnitin for a coenzyme A, for a CoA group. 
So basically, we are back with palmitoyl-CoA again, which again is a 16-carbon long fatty acid. And this will then enter fatty acid breakdown, or however long fatty acid there is, which we will talk about next. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe perhaps, and please provide feedback. Thank you. So next discussion, we'll talk about fatty acid degradation from palmitoyl-CoA, which is a 16-carbon fatty acid. Thank you.